Guys, give it up uh, for Kenny Brooks. Woo. All right. How are everybody doing tonight? Woo! <laughs> uh, it gets darker than me up in here. I used to be a door-to-door -door salesman, though. I had to quit because they thought I was a black Jehovah Witness. I was like, damn, I need a, I need a uh, nine to five now. Nah. At first, I couldn't imagine myself punching a clock unless I swung on Flavor Flav. <laughs> I got kids, they better than morning breath. Every time my daughter get mad, she give me the stroke mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew I wouldn't go be shit in high school. My teacher used to roast me. She told me one day if I sneeze, I could bite a hole in my chest. I told her her lips so big, she could whisper in her own ear. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I wasn't good at school. I flunked kindergarten because I couldn't scribble. <laughs> so I used to roast everybody, me and my teacher, we used to go back and forth like an argument. <laughs> One day I told her her ears, was, her, her ears was so little, her earrings looked like sugar. <laughs> I'm from Detroit too. The bugs out there, they, they look like shotgun bullets. <laughs> I seen this one bug, he had a gap like me. And he had braces. I said, I need to go to your dentist. I ended up going to the dentist out here. <laughs> My dentist told me, you don't need no braces. You need a fence. <laughs> I said, that's crazy. <laughs> My auntie breath smell like hot dog water. <laughs> Every time she talked to me, she sit right next to me talking. I'd be like, just text me, just text me. <laughs> you know it's bad when your breath smell like horse hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> How you got morning breath at night? Tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I got a mama that don't show me no love ever since I was she high. One day I said, Ma, why you don't give me a hug? Why you don't give me kisses? She said, what's up, my nigga? She just give me that. <laughs> I said, that's crazy. You don't love me? She said, I love you. I just can't represent you right now. <laughs> you only got you got a face only your brother can love. <laughs> I said, I ain't gay, Marvin's gay. <laughs> yeah, it's colder than polar bear toenails in Detroit. Growing up, my house was so small, you had to run outside to change your mind. <laughs> it feel like I got four brains inside this head. Yeah, I was so ugly growing up, I couldn't even get a fake phone number. <laughs> Yesterday, I ran into a midget doing a pull-up. After he got done, he told me life was short. <laughs> I tried to have a conversation with him. He said, make it quick. I'm too short for a long conversation. <laughs> <laughs> The EBT, the EBT out here, oh my goodness. You can get Burger King at EB, with an EBT? Man, my sister harder to catch than my ex-wife boyfriend, she saw that. Every time the first of the month comes, she don't ever want to break bread like the Last Supper, and she be over everybody. <laughs> the water out here in California is terrible. I'm from Detroit, and I lived in Flint for two years, but the water out here is harder than Mike Tyson winning the spelling bee. <laughs> the water's so hard, I seen somebody wearing a football helmet to take a shower when I was at the 24-hour fitness. <laughs> I said, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, my first sales job, I used to work for this company called ADP. All dark people. <laughs> I had a friend, he used to go door to door with me, he used to try to use black jokes. I said, we need to trade places like Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. We was going door to door telling each other we are salt and pepper. All right, this is my last one. And I'm gonna see you around like a donut. <laughs> Uh, 
it was this salesman, he went to this farmer, he was like, I bet you I can make your horse cry. He was like, no, you can't. He was like, no, I'm gonna make him laugh first. So he went up to the horse and he whispered in his ear and then the horse started laughing. He was like, hey, how did you do that? He said, that ain't nothing, now I'm about to make him cry. So he went back up to the horse and he whispered in his other ear. Then he pulled out his phone, then the horse started crying. He said, now wait a minute, this must be a magic trick. He said, nope. I told him my dick was bigger than his. He started laughing. Then I actually put on my phone and showed him, and he started crying. That's my time. <laughs> <laughs>